All right, let him have it, Cosmo. Yeah, you didn't like that that much, did you? That, my friend, is cold hard truth. It's been a complete turnabout in move this trial, just from one discrepancy. That's how these trials work. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. Well, that's right, you know, Skay. And you're on that same path too. Cosma here, he's got potential. But, but I definitely saw him. You sure about that? That universe is the cadet there. Please point to the firearm directly at the victim's back. Speaking of someone's back, what about that baby on your back who needs to get out of here? Yes! Cause I'm sick of looking at it. But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either? Myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interests me not. I was far too busy on the floor. I'm sorry, you heard a gunshot and you weren't interested in it. Instead, you were busy looking, looking at something else on the floor? What was that? Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. Treasure? The, indeed, the Hoi Era Koban. My prized coin. On each occasion, when I visit the restaurant, it is my habitude to place in my bosom pocket a particular trinket of interest from my shop, Rasute. In the hope of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you. On the day under scrutiny, it was the military man that proffered my Hoei treasure. I believe that he would purchase such a rare find. I did not. But I was presented with little alternative. And then, after averting my eyes for the briefest of moments, it was there no more. It simply vanished. Hmm? The Koban vanished? I have no idea what he's talking about. And I don't know what a Koban is. So this may be a problem in the trial. I hope they explain what it is. On the ground under the table, I was in case it may happen, it had fallen there. And then it happened. You heard the gunshot, you mean? So it was under the table when that happened. Indeed, I did. But I hit it not. But I was concerned to only find my absconded hay treasure. Hallway treasure. Nothing could distract me. So I see. Out of interest. Did you find the coin in the end? I said it was a coin, right? Of course, that's what they said. No. Mm. Mm, I see. I'm trying to think of how is that line up the case? Maybe they. Maybe the uh, culprit took it? I don't know. They say it was gone the next moment they looked. I guess the military man could have stolen it. Maybe the baby on his back could have taken it. But still. Hmm. Of that lamentable lim day, the precious Koei Koban was lost to me. No doubt, some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. Uh, I still don't blame him. I see. As I'm sure everyone present is aware. This can is demanded swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels, it must be to the British. It would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. What is your position, Prosecutor Aochi? Huh. Where are we not, Your Excellency? 
The defendant may have fled like a flooded tiger at the gate at the front gate. But he will find a wolf at the back. So you see you got more, huh? My witnesses has further testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could have possibly committed this despicable crime. Alright. So the more precise you guys think you are about this case, the more it gives me a better clue of what's going on here. So go ahead. Like I said before, this is more ammo for me to fire back at you. The equally despicable defendant, Ryunosuke Naruholo. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? I really like this side profile shot of Kazuma here. The way he holds his, his sword to the side like that. Or he's looking, like he's looking at you. It's really cool. Ugh. Very well, the court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegation. Is that clear? As clear as Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Waiting signals to testify, sir. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone pinging over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative. The newest member of the Nosa family to rise up to the ranks, sir, named Ido. Oh, congratulations. I'm having a uh, son. If I believe that's the case. But congratulations. Hmm, it would seem those straps are a son of the sergeant being too strapped to afford a nanny. Idol. Tin. Shun. Your father's about to quell the enemy. Oh, that's nice. Watch and learn, my boy. That's adorable. Ugly kid, but that's adorable. The act itself is adorable, not the view. But you get what I mean. Alright, you old coots, let's try this again. The true culprit. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the fire was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Oh. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was. That young lad, lad in back, that much I myself did see. So, pointing at him. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. So, so that's weird. Because uh, Rinosuke remembers there being someone else there with him. Some young lady. But both these guys and the waiter don't remember seeing that woman there at all. So that's odd. Therefore, no one other than a black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Hmm. These testimonies are certainly yes. compelling. Wait, that's that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at the time. For some reason, only I guess what could have happened is maybe these guys were bribed too, some some way. Damn, so whoever could pull this whole thing off must have some money. Must have some real cash if they're bribing people into this, or maybe everyone's just freaking stupid. Or another way to think of it is the lady in question is like very, very sly. She's good at covering her tracks somehow. Where for some reason, people weren't aware of her presence. I don't know. Or maybe uh, she was there for a moment. Like, like maybe she wasn't there at first when the uh, sergeant and the old man were there and the waiter. When they were looking at that table, she wasn't there. Then, for the briefest of moments, when Ryunosuke went over there, that woman just so happened to be over there at the exact same time. 
And then maybe immediately after she left out. That's what I can think what happened anyways. And that's when she committed a crime. So she was like in and out for like a split second. Or a couple of seconds anyways. I don't know. Or she could have hit away like under the table maybe. I don't know. Then again, I'm sure they would have searched that. Hmm. Well, I can't put too much faith in the in their intelligence to look that far ahead. So I don't know. It could be anything. Please. Enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at the table at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. They're looking away. So maybe they did get bribed somehow. If you call yourself a lawyer, then you respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. Yeah, for real, you know, Skate, you kind of like gotta do this thing, whole thing right. You can't just be yelling out random shit. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. So yeah, we're gonna need evidence to prove that she was there. And from what I could probably guess that maybe like some traces left of her being there. Something in her seat perhaps. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime council? Indeed, of the table at which the victim was dining. Taken by the investigator immediately after the incident. Hmm. Hmm. See, there's a thing with these Ace Attorney uh, photographic evidence things. They don't like show the evidence right in your goddamn face like Danganronpa would. would. Like Danganronpa just show the evidence like right in your face, like, oh, it's right here, you dumb dumb. She like she like some goddamn kid, but Ace Attorney is very discreet with their evidence. They like they give you more credit in your intelligence. It's like I really appreciate that. As can plenty of you seen, there's only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print. It would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know, I'm suspecting either the chair or the flowers flowers have something to do with it. Of of showing evidence if she was there before. The core will add this new photographic evidence to the record. Thank you. I don't understand what's going on here. It's not just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. Hmm. The word before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to a restaurant alone as well. Well, like I said, he could have came alone, but she could have came later at like a certain small amount of time and then left. Before anyone else besides Ryunosuke noticed her. But that's not true. I I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. She could have hit somewhere. It was soon that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. Oh no, we ain't. The Great Britain can wait the great fat asses. We're gonna get this trial done right. The witness testimonies we have just heard have no further room for doubt. These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. Do you think that I, Takasuchi Aguchi, will have contributed to the amenity of those two great empires in his honor? He's an honor. I'm going to steal the honor away from you, my friend. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. 
Get your head up, Rinosuke. We ain't done yet. Yeah, stand tall, Rinosuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, there's something going on here behind the scenes. Hey, that's what I'm saying. And now it's your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth in cross examination. Uh, I don't know, Cosmo. Come on, you guys, me. Backbone, my guy. Well, that's why Cosmo's here, anyways. The defense is entitled to cross examine the witnesses, but make it quick, understood? Take as long as you want. Rules can be so unbending at times. Ugh. Well, there's a reason we have rules. For situations like this, people just can't do whatever they want. Okay, so, I already read this stuff before, we don't need to go over it. But still, I'd like to uh, check the evidence real quick. Shot to chest, the bullet not passed, the victim's body. But the victim was shot from the front of the chest, as she died. The the police was called the victim's sketch to his black eyes on the back. Alright. Let's see. So that's what the victim died. It's an oddly drawn. That's kind of weird. The way it looks to me, it's like there's a a table for four in each one, that's weird. Oh, magnifying glass. Ooh, I didn't know we had that sort of thing. Okay, that makes things... That makes things a lot more better. I really like this sort of thing. It should, it should be more common in these type of detective games. But, uh, anyways, I don't think this is it. If we get a magnifying glass, I think we gotta check out the crime scene photo. So see we got. Hmm. Doesn't seem like. Yeah, I wish I knew uh, more about culinary arts. How to like be fancy at a table or whatever, because maybe how the table is set is some sort of hint to there being a second person here. I don't know. Anyways, I probably shouldn't waste too much time on that. Might have something to do with the uh, with his business card. It's the way it's set. Sorry, let me see this again. Makes it look like there's only. The table for two, but the rest of the table for four. That's weird. I don't know, maybe it's just the way that doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, hmm. Hmm. that's the person who's going to find that young lad in the black, which I did see. For the rest of the sister prince, that we've gone to find out you were the only person not present. Personal present. Hmm. Englishman, he's done it all by himself. Therefore, no one other than a black and from cadet could dispatch the Englishman over and now. What do you think, Rios? Okay. Uh, um, uh, that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. What's the matter? No, I know there's something, I'm not sure which, which is it. I can't find anything, I can't discrepancy anywhere. I'm done for, I can't win this trial. 
no, no, uh, listen, the first thing to do is calm down, you can't expect the wisdom statement to be full of holes every time, you just have to take your time, try to tease more information out of them first, what do you mean, press, right, you choose either press or present against each of the, each of the witnesses statements, if witness is saying something suspicious about pressing on it with Q, thank you. With a little luck, you may get more details, which could prove to be crucial. Right, see. The important point is, there's no sense in holding back. If anything was slightly jars, jars with you, press the witnesses on it, and press them hard. Alright, got it. I'll press them like blocks of tofu. The professor wasn't alone at the restaurant, I'm sure of it. And one way or another, the cost examination is going to prove I'm right. It's time to press them for all they're worth. My fate depends on it. No, that's not. Yes! Oh no, it's not the same thing. For start, I didn't find the. Okay, we know we gotta be more like. You can't just be blurring out random shit. You have a difference of opinion on that. The opinion of the uniformed officer versus that of a fledgling cadet. Um, I don't think so. Consider this defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. So? Oh, did you? Did you see it? Did you see him blink? No, he's wearing glasses. How could I? And yet, it's an fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Just because you say it is, that makes it a fact? I don't think so. Not in this courtroom. Not while I'm around. Ten shut. A sound of fire around rang in my ears. In the very next moment, I saw you waving that gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you think? Don't you? Let us not forget that the antiques dealer witnessed the Kakus in the most incriminating position as well. It's not so, Craig Kutusan. Well? Yes, from this gun to form man he was, that young land lad, that much I myself did see. But you didn't see. You shoot, did you? Yes, it may be true that I was holding a gun at that point in time. But I told you already, that's only because I picked it off the floor. Or oh, obviously that's the corporate, that's the only way he explained the way. I had just finished drinking my coffee and I was about to leave the restaurant when I noticed a gun on the floor it was dark his feet, so I picked it up. And exactly that moment. Huh. I see. A gunshot rang in my ears. Full of events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and put it up with which precipitated this testing predicament. Uh, I don't think that's allowed in the courtroom. Whereas, conversely, I felt to pick up the cold bottom from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. No, I think these predicaments are totally different and mine's a lot more extreme than, your, than yours. Anyway, the fact remains. Myself, I did see you. With a pistol in hand, standing over the over the foreigner. Furthermore, this was search of premises at the time confirmed that we were the only person not present. Yes. What kind of physical search? Okay, but well you don't just gotta actually ask a question, not just make statements. I myself know that someone else had Dr. Wilson's table. There there was a lady there. You know, this guy is bad at this. I know he's a first time, but jeez. As you have been at pains to point it out time and time again, I feel like I'm growing callous in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Girl. If only there'd be more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. Quiet time between lunch and dinner in the restaurant. I know. 
course, the place is completely empty. That's what you expect. So, the two p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. I wonder if there's a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day, or why he was alone. Exactly. That's yes, actually there is indeed a reason. Oh, there was. This is found the victim's jacket pocket. Oh, thank you. What is that counts? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It was seen the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to the visiting of the restaurant. Hot hmm. clinic. Yes, that would indeed appear to be entry for a date in question. For the date in question. 9th November. Noon to pass 1 p.m. Hmm, the very day of the incident. So the victim went to a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation can't be more simple. The prosecutor felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I will see about that. Right. I wonder, what do you think, Rinosuke? Hmm? Well, I try to see how you relate it, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it would be useful. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report card to be submitted as evidence or not? Uh, yes. Yes! Everything counts. If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report card to be submitted as evidence. Your Excellency. Shouldn't this always be the case, though? What do you mean, what grounds? The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence will be extraneous. Not to mention the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the rest of are of no concern. Objection! Oh, he could have met someone there. Whether or not their concerns are to us decide, we have a right to explore all possible avenues. Thank you. I, uh, beg your pardon? You heard what I said. You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for a submission of evidence. See, I like, uh, Cosmo here. It's like when these guys try to like weave their way around the rules, he like he like makes a strict like he makes it like these these rules are strict and you need to follow them. You can't just like weave your way around the rules and try to like put fancy words around them to get to like have your own way. Like no, like we have a right to do this. You can't just say we can't do it for your own benefit. That's bullshit. Very well, the court will grant the defense's request. <laughs> you know, these days are forever exerting their rights. It's the most disturbing trend. Yeah, I kind of figured you'd be like that. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. Okay, we'll have to check that out in a minute. What we need right now is new clues. Yeah, same. I figured the same thing. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. Finish. You can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like. This the day at the festival already already for you. What? Or perhaps you've forgotten. At least witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Craig Kutasan. Okay, let's just check this bit of evidence out. Can I not examine it? Hmm. Okay. That's alright, won't let me. Hmm. That's not it. Uh, hey, I'm just keep pressing. Yes. So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone. Okay, Ryanosuke, you, you, you uh, finally learned how to put this together a bit. You're not just saying, no, he wasn't there alone, he's there with someone else, blah, 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 blah. You gotta actually question them about what they actually saw and heard. You gotta dig deep in there. 
That I did. Forgive me for the position I placed you in. Hmm. So the testimony of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? But let us not forget the inconsiderate evidence we have to support their statements as well. As you can clearly be seen, there's only a single beef steak on the victim's table. A meal for one. Hey, what if we check the uh, the log or whatever it is, the, uh, the receipt of what they ordered at that table? That would help. No. The antique sealer, the sergeant and the greater who testified, testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. I was thinking that same thing too, perhaps. But if so, then why? Like either that lady's a freaking ninja, or they're all corroborating with her. If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Therefore, no one other than a black uniform cadet could have dispatched Englishman over and out. Why aren't you telling the truth? Okay, Rinosuke, uh, that's not exactly how you do things, but, but what you say, Cadet? I clearly remember. There's a woman sitting across the table from the Swap Professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the Professor's dying because of the companion, it, it's just not possible. They're definitely hiding something. Okay, we gotta drag it out of him. Unfortunately for you, defendant Naruhodo, it's not just the case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry. The waiter who, whose testimony the court heard earlier clearly stated the same thing. He also said the victim was alone. That's right. Come on, you know what Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. That is what we're looking for. If no such proof exists, the prosecution demands no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There is nothing I can say to that. <laughs> Excellent work, Ryunosuke. You've claimed some new information now. Have we? Oh, yeah, we have, but yeah. But yes, but I don't feel like it changed as much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I won't be so sure. Let me see that medical report you got there. See, that's what I was trying to do. That's why I kind of figured it would show, like, uh, some mention of me having to meet somebody. But of course, they didn't let me see that when I tried to look into it. They want to have Free Nosuke, sorry, not me, but they want to have Kazuma still the spotlight first. But you know what? He deserves it. So let him have it. Oh, you mean this? Yes. This is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear magnifying glass. These are the ones to make examine. Press space and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. Use those. Oh, that's cool. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using WASD, we can pinpoint, right? Move the crosshairs around and hunt for clues that may have been missed before. If the crosshairs start to pulsate, press space to investigate further. I see. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learned by examining it more in detail. Don't have to tell me twice. 
Alright, I see what I can do. I need to use blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, and blah 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 to inspect any areas of evidence that look suspicious. Four, five. Yeah, knowing this, oh, let's check this out first. That's up there, record date. Oh, it's neat. Uh, let's just have a blade. This is some kind of medical history. There's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? Well, it seems so. It's for the incident. He had a bad tooth removed. And he was eating steak after? Yeah, that seems suspect. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I heard this anesthesia. Y'all don't use it here? God, that sounds... That sort of stuff sounds awful without uh, some sort of pain relief. It's plain torture. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Trust me. It's a blessing from God. We actually have that. Ah, there's a cautionary note for the mental protect protection as well. Let me guess. They don't eat shit like beef or anything tough, right? Surely no food or drink besides water for three hours post procedure. Until anesthesia effects have passed. So I see. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. And of course, these bozos in the prosecution they didn't bother uh, putting this stuff together, or they just intentionally hid it away. So nobody would notice. Well, either way, by the fact that we had this right now, just proves the incompetence of the prosecution. But that's no surprise. It's just the first enemy of every Ace Attorney game. This is just a practice round until the main event later. Okay, that's a good piece of evidence right there. But there's no information. The meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time to listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Oh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Don't need that. We might come back to that. Also. Oh, can I? Can I go backwards? I'm not sure. Let's see. We're doing even more to go on now. I still don't feel like this situation has really changed, but although those stress have come to light, and that's what we need. Oh, I think the situation has changed a great deal. We've come a long way. Also, because we're just now what we need. It's simply a case of using it to our advantage now. Then, do you mean there is discrepancy somewhere? Yes, we don't skip. Come on. The crucial point is the victim had been prohibited from consuming anything but water when he was shot. Okay, maybe they're, maybe they're trying to dumb this down for me because I probably should like. Put together, put the uh, evidence there earlier, but I didn't. So they're like, "All right, all right, genius. Here's what the answer is." But hey, I was just trying to, uh, I was just trying to be accurate and be punctual about which which uh, discrepancy it actually is. He's right. Think about Doctor Wilson's circumstance at the time of the incident. 
It's that particular statement in a totally different light. That's what you said earlier, yeah. Anyways, keep your eye on the prize is battle. That's the only way to win. Is that so? Alarming to slap this piece of evidence right in your face. Um, um well, I think that come on, you know, it's out with the boy. Are you a wittering lad? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could. First and foremost here, I'm the accused. You know it's gay. Everyone stumbles through the words occasionally. Under certain circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Cosmo. I can see it clearly in the cross examination you just carried out. And you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully. You knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. Yeah. Trust me, take that advice from me, from someone else, someone also who uh, overthinks his words constantly and ends up not actually saying anything, anything at all by the end of it because he's so insecure of what he has to say. That's how uh, I go about things anyways. That's my problem. All right, thanks for the advice. Deep breaths. Karakuta san. It's the metal report belongs to the victim. Uh, I see, and and I don't see. What of it, boy? I'm paying what is written on this report with your witness statement. Something clear doesn't add up. Objection! Object these nuts. Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my words so soon, amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt the corporate scenes with your amateur's drivel. But. Let's see if I can explain the words you might be under so you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. I don't think so. Because there could still be some effects that happened beforehand from the past events. But but that's um remember you Nosuke. You don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Yeah, I gotta keep that in mind too. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There's surely no need to claw on this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. The matter of course has no bearing on the matter at all. For that simple reason, there's no one else besides this pale faced pupil. No, we ain't tired of your shit. This metal report has nothing to do with the case? Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half pe petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hotel Clinic was issued the poor card is a dental clinic. Uh, dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Yes. It means you need to get your teeth checked out before we smash them in. And after. So, perhaps if I told you that the victim has just had a tooth extracted. What's this now? And furthermore, if I told you that as a result the victim had been forbidden from eating. Just, just what are you trying to say, cadet? Get others not to eat, so what? Plenty of what? It's all written in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post procedure while anesthesia wears off. And it was only an hour after. What? Oh, that, that can't. Did you even read this? Gosh, suck. Kurkuta san. What, what, boy? What? As you just heard. He was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m. The victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, 
There's more? Yes. You have assured the court with unbreaking self-confidence that the victim was dying alone. But that cannot be p possibly be, be the case. Urgh. Because the victim, as we now know, had just once teeth extracted. It was still experiencing the effects of anesthesia of the anesthesiac. Expertly done, partner. Oh, what is this nonsense? You little upstart. These are baseless accusations. Just look at this photographic evidence. The police said there's plenty of food at the victim's table. See, now it all makes sense. Because the doctor wasn't sitting right there, he was sitting on the other side. The person sitting right there was the woman in question that we're looking for. Yeah, that definitely spins things around. So it's not the other side of the table we should really should be looking at, it's this side. Objection. Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. But can't you follow the logic? I don't think he can. How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say the tables in this restaurant case have turned. Ha ha ha. Wouldn't you agree, Vinosuke? Hmm? Yes, most definitely. There you go. I like a little more, t more confidence, my boy. So, having just over undergone his dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who in the fact was eating the pictured beefsteak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense. The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that means me. Yeah, doesn't. All right. The answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is start by turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. All right, Arby and Elske, and now is the time to blurt out there's a woman there at the table. Got it, so um. The person in this death victim's table must have been. No, no, no. The as the yet unknown third party. Obviously, it can only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. Attention! You will not let this go, will you? There is no such person. Yes. Then explain how, how that stake was there then. Explain how he was bitten off. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half eating stink on this table. Yeah, exactly. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. Is that too much for you, old man? We have strong evidence to support your, our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. Yeah, they fail like twice so far. So we should honestly just kick them out while we're at it. Bring somebody else. If the court decides to push the ruling at this stage. Yo, we got the blade ready. We will lodge our formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Relentlessly. Cosmo. You're so cool. Are you insane? You. We take on the government? If it's for justice, yeah. But don't worry, Counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. The two witnesses at the, in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied in giving your testimonies, then you're in some big trouble, my boys. Obviously, you'll be charged with perjury. Perjury. That's right. And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complete in the killing. Complete in, in murder? 
No, no, that's right. So you better speak up. Negative. There was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. What meeting? I was just following orders. From who? That's right, as the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they aren't told us. Uh, we poke you guys once, you just spill the beans, huh? Oh, yeah, there you go. What? What did you just say, Karakuta-san? Oh, um, no? You were just following orders? They both said it, really. Now hold on, lad. I was, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman? Uh, when you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? I guess that's how they uh, localized it. Attention! But what is the meaning of this? Cause I was wondering, like, why are you saying just gentle woman? Who says that? That's an odd thing. That's an odd uh, way to phrase a lady. But I guess they're just talking about a lady from overseas. These witnesses gave false statements. Yeah, you kind of suck. Is this true, you pair? It definitely doesn't make you look good, Alchi. Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. Actually, it's two slips of the tongue, but yeah. Order, order. Council, explain what is going on here. In the obvious, it's painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. That's your job, asshole. Bro, that's that little weak ass slap. Bro, use your fist. Then who's behind this? Who tried to keep, keep your mouth shut? Well, um. <laughs> just a cute animation there. That's classified. So you're prepared to be trapped as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You, you wouldn't. This can't be happening. Oh, it is. We know this guy. Judging from the way they're reacting to this, I say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. Yeah, that's what I was thinking uh, earlier. At first, anyways. Especially if like they can like pull the strings on a military man like that. He's probably like a decent, high, decently high in rank. They gotta have some type of pull to do that sort of thing. However, I don't believe Alchi had any idea about it. Yeah, me either. What are you trying to say? What are you saying? I mean, it's with that kind of influence, there can only be a handful of possibilities. It can only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Yeah, something like that. Or the Mafia. Yakuza, anyways. Or maybe, uh, foreigners, perhaps. Well... Any ideas as to who might be behind this? We can affirm who tried to silence his witnesses. Then we can continue our pursuit. Well, we have to look into the past of Dr. Wilson to see who's, who he was connected with. And then we'll find out exactly what was going on here and who tried to uh, cover up the truth here. But then again, they did say gentle, gentle woman as in a foreign lady. So it's definitely some sort of foreign power. Probably from Britain, possibly. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Definitely the killer anyways. Of course, we need evidence before we can make that firm like it was an accusation. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly, by gathering evidence, Remember how we made progress before? Before? Yeah, before. We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? 
We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. We must prove that these witnesses have been manipulated. I assure you, the penalty will be severe. Please, wait. Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swore to every Shinto god. I knew nothing. What does the defense have to say about this, hmm? Well, Your Excellency. No time to think. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first thing that comes into my head. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses. There's not really the manipulated witnesses. Hmm. But he doesn't have any connection to this though, so it's not really He's the only one I can think of. Since the only connection the only person I didn't uh, state that the woman was there. So he has to relate to it. That's the only person I think of. I don't know if he had any uh influence. But we'll have to see if we, if we get it wrong, we get it wrong. So it's whatever. Yes! Well, surely that would be Satoru Hasunoga-san. Hasunoga-san? Look, what, who took the stand earlier? Attention! Poppycock. What possible reason would the waiter have to make it, these witnesses give false testimony? Because he said the same thing. Not to mention the fact that even the head waiter would not possibly have that level of influence. influence. That's what I was thinking too, but he might be, he might possibly be somebody important. For once, I would agree with you, yeah. If that is, the man truly were a raider, yeah. There's also that. Uh, if it truly were? Come on, Ryunosuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Satoru Hosunaka's real identity as proven by this evidence. That's either this or this. Let me check this out. Exam ah, I see. Chief Inspector Satoru Hasunoga. Primary Criminal Divisions Di Investigations Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Mm, that's a sloppy mistake, Detective or Inspector. Very sloppy mistake. Yes. I'm not sure what this is possible to prove, Counsel. I think you're asking, see, that this is what proves not the true nature of the waiter. The true nature of the what? Sorry. Black guy who could stoop to presenting irrelevant evidence to incriminate an innocent man. Isn't that it? That's the true nature of this rookie. Probably because I gotta examine it, sorry. I see. Try again. Whatever all evidence we have once more. There's something that proves who the waiter really is, I'm sure of it. Alright. I'm gonna hit the court with the truth. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh. Examine. I'm supposed to like click into it, right? There we go. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see it says the witness's name here? Satoru has no guy. Oh, yes. Business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of is the point. It's not the name that's unexpected. His job? Oh. Chief Inspector Satoru has no guy. Primary Criminal Div In Investigation Division. Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? Right. I have no idea. Let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're willing, willing to get somehow here. Right. All 
All right, let's try this again. Yes. The plan for restaurant skip by the man in question. I agree, it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we conclude anything. Sorry, Your Excellency. That's the back of the card. It's the back. The back of the card. That's of interest. It's the back of the back of the card. That's of interest. I beg your pardon. You may have my partner, or perhaps I should say, I should say at the front. Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's what the telling detail is. Yeah. Somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say. Also, another son sketched up the the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of the business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. The word is profession. Well, that surely. Good gracious. That's right. Your Excellency. The card reads Chief Inspector. Uh, blah blah. I already read this like five times. What? The waiter is a police detective. I haven't heard any mention of this before. I haven't heard any mention of this before because you're uh not a very good prosecutor apparently. You gotta look into your witnesses better. The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So when is there in the stand? Damn, even over a military guy? Shit. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you've seen this foreign gentlewoman at the, at the scene? Well... Ah, uh, there he is. Inspector Hosonaga. 